guys good morning good morning oh my gosh so i have a beanie on my head and i'm sitting on the floor because it's kind of cold for the past how many days babe has it been snowing it's been like today's gonna be the fourth day today is like day four of like being freezing outside and it's honestly i'm over it already like i'm seriously over it we have no food we have no chicken we have no rice we, we really have like nothing to eat besides like we have like two, two maruchas left and then like we've just been snacking on like little snacks but we don't have like actual food to cook and i want food to cook i feel like we're already getting annoyed also the reason why is because we had a like snowstorm here in like texas and like so many people have had like no power no water our water just got cut off this morning and my sister hasn't had electricity for two days you guys i told her to come over here to our apartment but she ended up going to my mom's because my mom my mom lives a little bit closer to her and she was actually scared to like drive like to my place because it's further than my mom's place so she went to my mom's house and they're just gonna be together because she slept the night at her apartment but she had no electricity last night good thing she had like a little fireplace and she like turned it on so it wouldn't be as cold in her house but it's getting cold right now our car like my car doesn't even start i think the battery froze or something and then my stupid self i didn't put gas in daniel's car the last time i drove it so his car has like low gas so we're gonna try to go get the car to turn on because there's like one target that's open the lines to the store are ridiculous but i'm gonna get myself ready right now i literally we literally just woke up hopefully the car starts yeah hopefully the car starts because if not it's like a 30 minute walk from the house and i don't know if we're gonna walk together or daniel's gonna have to go or i'm gonna have to go and one of us is gonna stay with aiden because i really the lines in the stores have been long and i kind of don't want to have aiden like waiting outside that long yesterday though daniel did walk to the gas station like he, 20 minutes. yeah he walked like 20 minutes and he got us like literally like snacks and ice cream because that gas station didn't really have like that was the only food. thing that was open was the gas station and it was 20 minutes away yeah our car, one of our cars the battery is dead because it's been so cold so mm -hmm. the battery died and, and the then other your car, car the same thing i didn't put gas in it yeah so, so we just didn't plan on getting snowed in so literally we to leave anywhere it's i think it's like honestly like five inches of snow yeah, like so. it's crazy and right now it's kind of like melting a little bit because it's like the last day of it i guess and it just looks like it turned into ice like some hard ice but. and i know a lot of people are gonna say like oh i, I live in i don't know nebraska and it snows every day colorado colorado and that's nothing but in texas we're not prepared my, for i've this. lived here my whole life and it's yeah. never ever snowed more than like a few little like drops of drops snow. of snow yeah so like to have five inches of snow i know it's just the city down like we have no water no power yeah some people don't have electricity, no electricity their water like, pipes are frozen and oh my gosh can't get to work like it's, it's no, like, we're not mm -hmm. we're not built texas isn't built like that we're not built to to sustain cold weather like yeah. we're 90 percent of the year we're 100 degrees and up like so mm -hmm. to be cold is, is completely different I know and Aiden oh my god he loves the snow like yesterday Daniel put snow in the bathtub for him because it was too cold for him to play outside so Danny put like a bunch of snow and he put like a bunch of toys for Aiden to play with come come say hi <laughs> he's coming to say hi he just woke up say hi <laughs> okay guys I'm gonna get changed and get Aiden changed so update I got my car to start but I have like zero gas like literally I just drove to this gas station and they're out of gas and like look you can still see there's ice all over my car it took me like 20 minutes to get all the ice off and it's slipping and sliding everywhere so I'm trying this other gas station that's down the street hopefully they have gas because if not I'm screwed look the windows are still like closed off oh man I was hoping this one had gas but I'm out they're out of gas damn it Literally driving super slow because all that right there is ice. I can feel my car slipping to shut off the highways because people were crashing and stuff. Well, I still got ice all over my window. 
But yeah, I have to drive super slow because the Target's on the other side of the highway. So Target's the only thing that's open right now near me. And you can see this long line to get in Target. It's ridiculous. Oh, sorry for that. It's the heater. Yeah, it's a long line to get into Target. Holy shit. Holy shit. Look at this line to get into Target. That shit is ridiculous. Oh my god. That is ridiculous. Look at this line, guys. I'm not even kidding. To get into Target. Anybody work at Target that can just let me in? This is what the meat section looks like. <laughs> Everything's wiped. There's nothing. This is a line to pay. <laughs> <sighs> Groceries have been secured. God damn, this took forever. Like, look at this line. Oh, you can't see it from here, but it's even longer. It goes like around the building. I was here for about. Shit, let me see what time it is. I don't even know what time it is anymore. And his lamies called me and told me that the heater went out. So now we don't have no heat at home. And we don't have no water. It's 3 o'clock. I left the house at 12. So it took me 3 hours. And they were out of water. They are pretty much out of meat. Out of... So I had to get like a lot of stuff to just like... Throw in the microwave. So hopefully the power doesn't go off. Or we need to start making some of this food so it's edible later. But yeah. It took me about 3 hours to just get gas. And a few things at the grocery store. And the lines were ridiculous, guys. Like, they were ridiculous. All right, guys. Here's a quick look at what it looks like right now. I think right now it's, like, 19 degrees. Ice all over the road. I was able to find this parking spot. Oh, hopefully I don't slip and fall. Yeah. But, yeah. Ugh. It doesn't ever do this in Texas. So people are going crazy right now. Look at the trees falling down because the ice on it is so heavy. Look at all this. It's all ice. I can slip. Okay, so I am making curly fries. Mmm, so good. Hi. <laughs> Watch out, Aiden. This is hot. I don't like it when you're in the kitchen. Go. Go. And then we're making little chicken tenders. I like chicken tenders. Mm -hmm. I told Daniel to bring stuff to cook. To bring some meat. There wasn't no meat. I'm gonna have to use his All little, was his was little nalgas and cut them and use it as bistec. There wasn't no meat. <laughs> and look at me. Okay, so it's getting cold in the house and this I little. Know how the heater wasn't working. Yeah, and this little like Christmasy sweater is so uh, soft and cozy. Uh, so I just put that on. I'm putting this water. Oh, you're okay. showing water? Yeah. What water? Oh, he's he's climbing up there. Oh, he wants to show you the sink water. Show him the sink water. Let oh, okay, it. okay. Show him. What's wrong with the sink? It doesn't work. It doesn't turn on. Why doesn't it work? Because you broke it. <laughs> <laughs> we told him that he broke the water. But... No, we just tell him, like, see, this is why you don't waste water. But, yeah, no. It's it's not too bad. It's not too cold in here because Aiden mentioned this. He started water. to get hot. And we have the oven, oven running, so. And the oven water doesn't work. Mm-hmm. All right, like, I'm gonna take the chickens out. Hey, come take the chickens out. I'm using a towel. Yeah, we need to get oven mitts, guys. <laughs> she hates getting it out. She always burns herself. Literally. I don't understand how she always burns herself, but. Cause I does. touched the, there you go. Mm, those chickens we used to have good. oven mitts, but we lost them. Or we no, they messed up a long time yeah. ago. We just never got new ones. So we just always use a towel. We got it. Or shirts. <laughs> I never burn myself. She always does. Look at the chickens though. They smell good. You guys, I freshened up a little bit. I put a little bit of makeup on. Because we're going to like at least try to get some like TikToks out of the day. Like since we can't really do much. And I think our heater is working again because it says it's at 69. And it was at 67 earlier. So I do think it is working. The lighting in here gets better because my ring light is on, but we're about to go outside. So I'm gonna put a beanie on and my jacket. And yeah, we're gonna do some TikToks. Those chicken tenders that Daniel ended up getting, they actually tasted like really good. So we might just end up buying those again when, I don't know, 
everything goes back to normal and it's not frozen outside. Okay, Alex is trying to walk on this. Like, look at this. I really don't know how Daniel <laughs> drove like this. This is so dangerous. Like, it's not even funny. Are y'all good? Mira, you're gonna bust your butt. And now I'm recording so I can catch you falling. Oh! <laughs> Are you okay? I'm trying to grab Aiden so he doesn't fall. <laughs> Here, I grab Aiden. Come with mama, cause that is crazy. <laughs> Come with mommy. Oh. You're, I know, good thing you have your rain boots on. Hold my hand. This hill is slippery. I recorded you too. <laughs> I'm trying to get around this damn tree. Okay, come on. Are you serious? Yeah, you're supposed to Okay. Hold the tree. There you go. <laughs> I'm so scared. That's crazy. I know. Hold mommy's hand, because daddy, he's crazy. Okay. Let me hold the tree for you. Come on. There you go. Thank you. Okay, we made it out of there. It's like so hard now, like... It's hard, right? Yeah. Oh, look at the car! It's literally just turning into ice, not even It is, that's why it's so dangerous. Look, look at this car. Oh, sorry, look I showed their license. Car. Whoa. Babe, you really drove like this? Oh my god. I like going look at the like street, that. this is so bad. Like that. I've recorded the whole thing and you busted That's your the ass. Thing was just ice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go in the. We're trying to stay as productive as possible. So I know I had to tell them inside. So we're like... filming a quick little couple TikToks. Yeah, so she's doing real quick. She's filming a TikTok and then I just filmed a TikTok on my own. So yeah. <laughs> so yeah, they're trying to be a little bit productive. Trying to do something instead of just like. Oh no. Instead of just sitting inside the house doing nothing, like we're trying to do something, but the internet's kind of bad right now, so she's just gonna do this one little TikTok and then we're going inside. Uh, Aiden Wait the. Go yeah, Aiden doesn't want to come go inside. Cold. I don't want to have him out here for too long. <laughs> He's slipping everywhere. <laughs> it's too cold to be just chilling out here, so we're gonna we're walking around. There's ice on the floor. Oh look, the trees they keep falling everywhere. He doesn't want to go inside. He's nice. Oh. Dude. <laughs> Almost fell again. It doesn't feel like it looks like it looks like there's a layer of ice and then underneath it is the snow. Because yesterday it was actual snow everywhere. Now it's just ice. Look at this tree. It fell over. Okay, I'm gonna carry Aiden over. Hold on, Aiden. Hold daddy's hand. Hold my hand so you don't slip and fall. Come to mama. No. Uh, yeah. Whoa. Damn it, I can't get over this. Yeah. Whoa. It's so slippery. After this, I don't ever want to. I, I like the sun. I like beaches. I like summer. I like summer. I like Texas hot. I'd rather deal with 105 degrees in this. Give me 110 if you want to. <laughs> Texas just also doesn't know how to act whenever a little snow comes. A lot, a little. We had like what, like seven inches of snow already? Yeah, I have a whole robe on. Yeah. Also, Texas just is not prepared. Yeah, we we'll go all the way over there. Then we go inside, okay? Look, my dog pissed. <laughs> all right, today's day five of being stuck inside because of this snow. Today it is not as bad. It's starting to melt away now after like the fifth day already. I know like some parts of Austin it's still snowing, but it hasn't snowed over here. Like I seen it on people's stories and stuff. Yeah, so. Thank God, it, I wanted to stop already, I'm done. Yeah, we're done with this. Um, but we still don't have no water, and we gotta use the restroom. 
And now the heater doesn't work. But I think it's, it's like the house is at 60. Yeah, the house is at 60 degrees now. So now it's starting to get cold in here. So that kind of sucks because we really haven't had to deal with the the cold inside. But now we do. So to get water, we were gonna get the snow and melt it and then throw it in the toilet to flush the toilet. But his lemmies was like, yo, we just go to the pool because the pool's like like literally like right here. So we're gonna go jump the fence and hopefully the water isn't frozen. But I don't think it is because it's starting to melt now. So yeah, I think. I I think that it should be melted already, so I'm just gonna jump the pool, get a bucket of water, and bring it back over here <laughs> to flush the toilets. He has, to, he has to jump the fence because the pool is locked. He had to jump the fence because the pool is locked, but whatever. I'm just gonna but get the pool it's, it's water. But it's easier than having to pick up like the snow and melt it. So. Yeah, because the snow, if you get the snow and it melts it, you can get a whole pot of snow, and then you only need like this much water. Yeah. And it takes a whole a lot to fill. Like, a lot longer to do. Yeah, it takes a lot longer, so I'm just gonna go jump and get some water from the pool. Trees have fallen. I just found somebody, like the gate is open. So other people have been doing the same thing. <laughs> I wish we would have thought of this earlier. They've literally been coming to the pool. Look at the pool, guys. It's still ice everywhere. I'm slipping and tumbling. Look, yeah, see, like you see, other people have been coming to the pool to get water. This guy can't even leave out of his parking lot. This is ridiculous, guys. Five days already. Sick of it. Try to find a bigger bucket. Guys, I'm making little bagel bites. Hi. <laughs> I'm making little bagel bites and for breakfast. All right, guys, it's day six of being stuck in the house. No water. Still got electricity, and the heater doesn't work. And it's really cold in here. And we're gonna go to one of our family members' house, but they don't got heaters either, so it's kind of pointless. So right now we're just hungry, so we're gonna hop in the car. Luckily, the snow is starting to melt already in the ice, and it's sunny outside. So I think this is gonna be the last day, but the problem is it still takes a while for the heater and the water to turn back on. So we're just gonna go see if there's anything open to get something to eat. I don't know, like I saw a couple people were like at Bill Miller's or Subway or Whataburger. Try something to get something to eat because I don't want to wait in Target line for like an hour and a half to get something to eat. Alright, we went to Wendy's, they were closed, and all that was left open was McDonald's, and we just ate, so it's a little bit of a mess, but I got me some Pokemon cards. <laughs> that was cool. I haven't had a chance to really get a kid's meal Pokemon card. Got a bucket of water from the pool real quick, and we're using this water, and we're heating it up. So we can kill all the bacteria to the dishes. We had a bunch of dishes. Literally, we had so many dishes. Oh. Yeah, we're trying to clean. That way we don't feel like lazy around here. We're trying to do something like clean around, clean up or something. Um, but yeah, I think by tomorrow it's like everything's melting. The sun's starting to come out. The only bad thing is like we probably still won't have water or heat for probably like another two days or so. But I mean, at least we're able to like leave now. Like people were leaving, we're able to leave. And yeah, we had McDonald's finally. Yeah, we're able to leave and I mean the, the roads are clearing up now. It's just about trying to get all the electricity back, heaters back and stuff. Um, but if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, comment down below for us to get electricity or actually to get here and water and everybody in Austin to get their electricity back. Um, but we love you guys. Catch you in the next video. Bye. 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 Say bye. <laughs>